Hey guys, Don here. Uh, welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery. I want to give um, really my two big takeaways uh, from my last uh, session of Strategic Coach. So I was there on uh, Wednesday. It was virtual. We're going to be going back in the new year to do real live. And this is a, just as kind of a coaching place that I go to every three months and we kind of work on our business. I know some listeners have gone to that. It's been a really kind of a, a good investment uh, for me as an entrepreneur. And the one of the takeaways uh, was... Um, putting together, I already have a spreadsheet. Let me just share. So we have a spreadsheet within Athena where I can download a, um, a spreadsheet of all the referring doctors for a year, for example, and it gives me the amount that they refer over. So I have um, those that have um, given or contributed over 10,000. I have a hundred doctors. So there's a, over a hundred and some are 20,000, some are 30,000. And, and so basically it takes all the patients in those that are designated to those primary cares. It shows how much we earn. And so if you take the hundred and they're above 10,000, what I did is I color coded all of those doctors' names. And then I re reorganized the spreadsheet based on, uh, on the, on the phone number, okay, or address. And so basically what I found is that like certain doctors, there was four doctors in the practice and uh, there was one that was giving 80 patients in a year. One was doing 20 patients and two were doing none. And I don't know if the problem was my spreadsheet or just maybe the other ones have different referral sources. So why would one give 80 and one not have any patients? And so that's where, that's where I'm going to focus my time is basically on those patients, uh, starting with the highest value ones that aren't uniform, uniformly um, referring to us and seeing how, because we already have relationships, just saying, hey, can I make a set up a meet and greet with one of these doctors? So it's a kind of a focal way of, of really focusing on producing revenue because we're already producing from get, receiving it from one of the providers and then, you know, getting the other two up to snuff. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a, a link underneath this. If you want to see, I'll, of course, I'll take out the names and stuff like that, but you can see kind of an example of how I'm setting up the spreadsheet underneath this podcast. Um, another thing, another great idea I thought was um, with these newsletters that I'm doing once a month uh, or once a once a week, these Podiatry Practice Mastery updates, um, what I want to do is I'm going to start including, or we're going to try it out and see how it works, but I'm going to pick one diagnosis. And basically, I'm going to put together a, a Google Doc, and we all can put in our best tips. I don't know how I'm going to organize it, but I'll figure it out. And you guys can all like click on it and put your best tips in this Google Doc, like, for example, based on like diagnosis or based on like procedures. So I might do it for plantar fasciitis and kind of write down what things are working for me. And then you guys can add things, um, different tips, or we could do it like for a shockwave or laser or things like that, different ways of, I don't know, I don't know how to, uh, how we're going to schedule it or organize, but that was a neat idea because we could have more collaboration without taking up anyone's time. Um, and I'm not sure if I want to do it with like a form or if I'm going to do it through the actual Google, I'm afraid of doing a Google doc because people will just, um, might delete it. So I might do a form with a few, a few options, like how you explain it. Uh, what produces the best revenue, you know, tips and highlights. You can pick which one and, and fill those in. It'll it'll tabulate a spreadsheet, you know, and you guys can look at the spreadsheet and what, what's determined and we can talk about it more as time goes on. Anyway, those are the two big takeaways um, from my last uh, thing of Strategic Coach. Okay, guys. Oh, last thing uh, about delegation. Um, so there's about 50 people in, in, the, in, the, in the class. I took a screenshot and then I sent that screen, screen talk, screen, screenshot to Fancy Hands and then they looked up everyone's names on LinkedIn so I could connect with all those people after LinkedIn. So it's just kind of a neat way of using a virtual assistant as well. Okay, guys, hope this helped. Bye-bye.